All right, Charlotte Culinarians. Today we are going to make pizza. Oh, what is one of our favorite dishes that everybody loves? Pizza. I'm so excited to be making it with you today. And guess what? I'm not calling Domino's. I'm not calling Grubhub. I'm just going right to my cabinet and getting the things I need to make the pizza right here at home. Um, we are making just a basic pizza dough today and we're going to top it with some of our favorite toppings when we get our dough all ready. We're going to start with some dry active yeast. Um, there is two types of yeast, active and non-active yeast. Now they both activate um, together with our flour. We're just using all-purpose flour. Um, but the active yeast is a little bit faster um, and that's what we're going to be using today. Um, so we're going to make our start with our yeast and I'm going to mix my yeast with some water, some warm water. I've got four tablespoons of warm water in my cup. Um, just from the tap, uh, warm water doesn't need to be extremely hot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get my yeast mixing together here, getting that going, just mixing the yeast and the water together here in my measuring cup. All right, just want that a little warm. The temperature of the water helps activate the yeast as it grows, all right? So the yeast production is going to help grow our pizza dough. Um, the next step is I'm going to just take my flour, um, just got a regular mixing bowl here, and I'm going to just mix in my flour. I'm using, just looking at my recipe here, making sure I'm following all the directions correctly, four cups of all-purpose flour um, and some salt. So my recipe says that I can use it in my mixer um, or I can do it by my hand or I can do it in a blender. Um, and so I'm just gonna do it with a whisk here, all right? And get that mixed around a little bit. All right, so I've got my salt, my flour, and now I'm going to go ahead and pour in my yeast that I have dissolved into the water. You can see that most of the granules are gone. And it's okay if some of them are still in there, um, but they are all mixed together to make it rise. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my yeast and water mixture in here, scraping out any of the little particles that I may have left in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to mix that together. Get that going, all right? And now I'm going to add just some more water, right? I've got four, I'm sorry, I've got one and a third cups of water here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time. I always find with water, I can add a little bit more, but once I've poured it in here with my flour, I can't take any out, right? So it's starting to get a little stiff on me and stick into my whisk, so I'm going to use my hands now at this point um, to go ahead and mix the rest of it so it all stays together. I'm gonna kind of pull it out of there, and get it going for us. Wants to stick in there, come on. Oh, there we go, popped all that out, good. And mix in my water. So I wanna make sure as I'm pouring in my liquid that I'm getting all the flour from around the sides of the bowl, I'm getting that all mixed in. So the warm water, the salt, the yeast, and the flour, it's all going to activate together to make my pizza dough grow nice and large. And I did not bring Miss Nancy. There's a bowl of flour right there. If you wouldn't mind, just, uh, yep, thank you. So Miss Nancy's helping me with some little flour. I'm just gonna toss a little bit out here onto my board so I can get it onto my hand so I don't have all this clumpy dough all over my fingers. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in there. Just a little bit at a time until I get a nice ball of dough. All right. So I want it to be kind of shaggy. Have you ever heard the shag? So let that get moving, all right? And then I'm gonna add a little bit more. I don't want it to be tough, but I want it to be chunky in there. All right. All right. So from here, flinging dough out. You can see the pizza dough okay. Nice ball of dough. I'm actually going to now 
put some um, olive oil in this bowl and set it aside and let the um, let the dough rest a little bit okay so just pouring a little bit of the olive oil in here I'm letting it on my dough all right, and now I'm just going to cover it up and I'm going to let it sit and my dough is going to rise. It'll take about an hour and my dough is going to double in size. Okay, so here is your dough and we just let that sit aside for a little bit and then we'll come right back to it. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and prep our vegetables and get that ready so we can have our toppings for our pizza dough. Okay, thank you. All right, friends, it's time to finish off our pizzas. Um, we're going to go ahead and start preparing some of our toppings for our pizza pies. Um, first, we have an eggplant. Um, I'm going to use some eggplant. I'm going to use a fresh Roma tomato. Also have some fresh parsley and some fresh basil that we are going to use to top our pizzas with today. Um, eggplant is from the squash family and it can be grown um, in different varieties. This is just a just traditional purple eggplant. I'm going to um, do some nice cubes of the eggplant. Um, so using my 10 inch chef's knife, I'm going to use the bear claw method using um, good knife skills and um, cut my eggplant very gently here. All right. And I just want to do some nice slices of the eggplant to top off on our pizza. Um, I love eggplant parmesan. It's one of my favorite dishes. Um, eggplant parmesan is made by topping it with some cheese and different flavorings. Um, just a really, really good dish. Um, so today we're just going to do our eggplant. Have you ever heard of the movie Ratatouille? No. Yeah, ratatouille. What is one of the main ingredients in the dish ratatouille? Eggplant. Here we go. So you've heard of it before. All right, so I'm finished cutting up our eggplant again, doing just some nice cubes here and getting these ready to top off on our pizza. So a lot of my students ask me, oh, Chef Amy, how did you get into the restaurant industry? Well, when I was young in high school, um, I had a desire to work in the food service industry. Um, thought I wanted to be a chef. And my parents said, well, Amy, if you would like to be a chef, you need to go get a job in a restaurant and see if you really like it. And that's exactly what I did. Um, when I was 16 years old, I worked part-time at a local pizza restaurant. Um, making pizzas. That's where I got my love of the restaurant business and kind of stuck with me. So it's fun to be back here making pizza with you guys today. The next ingredient I'm going to use is a fresh Roma tomato. Again, using my bear claw method, using um, my 10 inch chef's knife, I'm going to slice my tomato. Just going to do some nice tomato slices for our pizza. Just going to cube these off kind of stacking a few of them together at a time, giving them in just some force there. It's a nice little square, so when they bake off, they're not mushy. Um, if we overcook tomatoes, they can get a little soft on us. So we're gonna be gentle with these guys today. All right, so I've got my tomatoes, my eggplant here. Um, next two ingredients I'm going to um, use, I have some fresh basil, and I'm going to use a, um, just wipe my cutting board here, um, what we call a chefinade method of cutting. And I'm going to just take a few of my basil leaves here, stacking them up together like little soldiers. Okay, and a few of my fresh parsley pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put those in there as well with the basil. Oh, these fresh herbs, they just smell so good, so decadent. And I'm gonna roll them together very gently. And then again, using my chef's knife, I'm just going to slice these very small. So the herbs are very strong. Um, you heard me say, oh, the smell is so fragrant. Um, and they do, so I just wanna gently cut them. Um, these are fresh out of the garden. Um, 
So here we are, and this is called the chefinade method. So chefinade are herbs. Okay. All right, so back to that pizza dough, right? We've got all of our vegetables cut and prepped and ready to go. I'm just gonna slide these over here while we prepare our doughs. These right here. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of flour um, here. This is all purpose flour, same flour that we use for the pizza dough. So I can work with my dough a little here. Let's see. I think we've got enough here, it looks like, to make two pizzas. It's a nice big pizza dough. It grows very nicely in the bowl here, as you can see. And I'm just using this tool, it's, um, I may just use the whole thing together. Um, is this a dough cutter or a bake, um, a bench uh, scraper tool? This dough is so nice and soft, I don't think we're gonna need any of the flour, so that's okay. We'll save it and use it for our next recipe. Um, so I'm just using a little bit more of the olive oil. Got a little bit of olive oil in here. Pour a little bit of that on the pan. Okay. Taking our pizza dough. I'll work that out here. See? You don't have to call Grubhub now or Papa John's or any of those places. Just a little bit of flour, water, and some yeast. You can buy a package of yeast in the grocery store for about $2. Um, flour, a whole pound of flour, great value brand, couple dollars. Um, so all in all, our whole pizza here, we don't even have $3 in the whole pizza. Um, you could make pizza for your whole family um, for probably under $5, all right? So I've got my pizza dough spread out here on the pan. And next I'm going to use some marinara sauce. Um, you can use any kind of marinara sauce that you like. Lightly gentle this on. I don't want to put too much sauce on because I've got these great um, herbs over here in this eggplant that I'm going to use. Um, you can also see that I've got some other toppings such as pepperoni and cheese. Um, we all know that pepperoni is very traditional um, topping for us so you can use that at any time um, or be as creative as you like. Um, over the winter, for a fun evening, my um, boys and I, um, they're a little bit older now. They're, well, your age, they're 12, or they're 16, I'm sorry, 16 and um, 21, but we had pizza one night for dinner, and they just had a great time um, kind of going to the refrigerator, picking out their favorite ingredients, um, some hot sauces, um, chicken, uh, peppers, just different things that um, each of them liked and they got to put it on their pizza. Okay, so I've got my sauce down here and now I'm just going to go for a little bit of my eggplant. Put my eggplant cubes around here. And you can do cheese toppings um, or toppings cheese or a combination of both. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it, just whatever way that you like on your toppings. Add some of these fresh Roma tomatoes. There's so many varieties of tomatoes. Um, we're so fortunate to have so many different products available to us. Um, I really like the Roma tomatoes on the pizza. They're a nice meatier tomato, um, really good flavor in them. Right. And then lastly, I'm going to add our, I think I'll do my herbs first. And then we'll do our, so our, some of our parsley and basil, give some nice flavor to those fresh tomatoes. Um, An eggplant. All right. And then lastly, our cheese. Right. Good. Just a little bit of mozzarella cheese. We don't want. We're not going to put too much cheese on it. Um, remember, when you're cooking for other people, it's not always about what you like, but what the um, your people that you're serving like. So, okay. And ladies and gentlemen, here we have an eggplant tomato pizza. Um, I hope that you all like this recipe and you try it real soon.